Uh, the Middle East is poised to take a very leading share in the international region on build out of AI infrastructure because it's part of the national strategy as well around sovereign AI. We see a very strong commitment from the government here on deploying AI infrastructure for training, but also for inference applications. You can see lots of announcements around building out new large language models relevant for the region, and also a lot of experimentation around AI use cases here as well in the Middle East. Energy is uh, at the heart of uh all the ecosystem around data center today, there is a quite a lot of demand in terms of energy because there is a lot of opportunities in the region nowadays, especially in the UAE and in the kingdom, uh, <clears throat> mainly driven by uh, government initiative. The race in artificial intelligence is reshaping industries and economies. Tech giants are investing billions in next-generation data centers, but this growth comes at a cost. AI workloads require massive computing power, resulting in unprecedented energy consumption. Already, these data centers are placing gigawatts of new demand on power grids that are under strain, raising a critical question. Can our AI ambitions be sustained without compromising our climate goals? Today, as part of AI Data Centers Decoded, a content series powered by Schneider Electric, we'll explore the future of data centers infrastructure in the age of AI. Can our systems keep pace with the rapid evolution of artificial intelligence? And more importantly, are the goals driving this transformation at odds with our global commitments to sustainability? To help us unpack these critical questions, I'm pleased to welcome two esteemed experts, Nirupa Chanda, who's the Senior Vice President of Secure Power and Data Centers International Operations, and Murad Yunus, who is the lead for cloud and services for the MENA region at Schneider Electric. Welcome. So to begin with, we know that the AI data centers are set to be the backbone of any economy or region that wants to get abreast in the global AI race. Nirupa, from a global perspective, how do you see the Middle East faring when looking at it from the global scale? Thank you, thank you for that question. Uh, the Middle East is poised to take a very leading share in the international region on build out of AI infrastructure because it's part of the national strategy as well around sovereign AI. We see a very strong commitment from the government here on deploying AI infrastructure for training, but also for inference applications. You can see lots of announcements around building out new large language models relevant for the region, and also a lot of experimentation around AI use cases here as well in the Middle East. So we're certainly very excited about the potential that the Middle East presents on, uh, on artificial intelligence, both from physical infrastructure side, but also AI use cases. Right, so we can be certain that the Middle East has an incredible opportunity ahead, but with such rapid growth comes responsibility. And as we see AI data centers scaling up, it also comes with a surge in energy demand. How do you think countries in the Gulf can be better prepared, Murad? And how will energy efficiency help meet this demand partially? I'm curious to hear what you have to say on this topic. Absolutely. Uh, energy is uh, at the heart of uh, the all the ecosystem around data center today, there is a quite a lot of demand in terms of energy because there is a lot of opportunities in the region nowadays, especially in the UAE and in the kingdom, uh, <clears throat> mainly driven by uh, government initiative. So there is definitely a very strong investment from uh, from the government to build new facilities in terms of uh, in terms of uh, power plant and uh, energy and electrification of this country. And I do believe that clearly today uh, Schneider can contribute because we are uh, very expert on terms of energy management. Uh, we are uh, our strategy is mainly to uh, to save and to uh, make energy uh, very efficient. So definitely there is a demand. There is, I think, a very strong initiative to make sure that we do have 
a strong management when it comes to drive efficiency, to drive the sustainability uh, in terms of uh, energy today. It's clear that energy efficiency will be a key differentiator for the region. Now, as energy demand rises, there is a great pressure to innovate. So how do you see data centers reinventing themselves, Nirupa, in the future, not just to be bigger, but to be more resilient? So energy is at the heart of the conversations around build out of all this AI infrastructure, right? Because the consumption is increasing right at the rack level, right? From the compute. So uh, there's a lot of talk about how much power these, uh, this infrastructure needs. But at the same time, what we would like to emphasize is that there is a role to play for energy for AI, but also AI for energy and how artificial intelligence uh, can help reduce the overall consumption and efficiency of this physical infrastructure using latest technologies, whether it's on data center infrastructure management, cooling optimization, or leveraging more on liquid cooling, for, particularly for these uh, this AI servers and uh, uh, you know the, the new uh, GPUs, which are uh, requiring more energy consumption as well. And uh, we believe that uh, from uh, there is a solution, there's an overall responsibility to overall reduce the amount of power that, uh, that these data centers consume. Uh, and that can be in the design and of the infrastructure, but also we must not discount the fact that a lot of this compute is going to help with overall uh, higher compute coming out of lower lower consumption as well. So there's about 17% gains that can be realized from the compute side as well. Right. And if you were to look ahead, Murad, for the next 10 years, what's that one big bet you see Schneider Electric making in the region with regards to the same topic of energy and power? It's bringing the expertise, bringing the knowledge, uh, bringing the knowledge to our customers to make the most of their energy. So this is definitely uh, uh, a very strong, I would say, uh, expertise that we can provide to the, to the market. We are specialized in energy management. We are leading uh, this industry since decades. Uh, you know, we have been uh, recognized as the most sustainable company uh, in the world. So we would like, uh, we do sustainability for our own, but we do as well sustainability for our customer. So this is, uh, this is one of our strategy to, to deploy uh, our knowledge and our practices to make the most of the energy uh, for, uh, for our customers and our partners. And I think what I'll add to what Murad is saying is that we're really focused on providing a full end-to-end -end solution to our customers. Uh, that is what we say grid to chip and chip to chiller. That means the full electrical distribution right from the power grid down to the chip level and the compute side. And then on the cooling infrastructure as well and making this entire design fully efficient. Speaking of sustainability, we see it being part and critical to several national agendas of the Gulf region. We know Saudi Arabia, the UAE, they've all taken significant strikes. Um, in this, what role do you see uh, Schneider Electric play in making sustainability more than just a line item and making it a competitive advantage? So I mean, we're working very closely with most, with all of our customers on really building the most efficient infrastructure possible, right? And that's not only in the data center space, but also on the power infrastructure side as well. Uh, what's really great to see in the Middle East is that the uh, as I said before, I mean, AI, build out of AI infrastructure and leading in the race of AI is a national priority. But on top of that, there's a lot of investments being made in our, around renewables, right? So, so that the infrastructure that is built is using more renewable energy. So that is also overall adding to the, um, I suppose, the, the, the global um, attractiveness of build out of uh, AI infrastructure in this region. And that's where we're supporting. Uh, we've got a lot of technology and solutions that we're bringing to the table that help with overall sustainability, which is, you know, reduction in use of uh, power, but also uh, divide, decide, uh, supporting with more thermal efficiency of the infrastructure. And that's where I would like to maybe add that we've recently announced the acquisition of Motivair, which is a company with over 
two decades of experience in liquid cooling applications coming from the era of supercomputers. Uh, and uh, in addition, you know, we've been working very closely with chip manufacturers like NVIDIA. You may have seen our global partnership that we announced at GTC Paris in a couple of months ago. So we've been working on reference architectures with them as well. So there's a lot happening in this space. So let's widen the lens a bit. Now, there's a lot of literature surrounding resilience and security when it comes to data centers. But what is that one underappreciated part when it comes to the risks within power and data centers that you and your team are tackling, Nirupa? Resiliency is the top of mind for our customers as well because data centers need extremely high availability. So it's critical infrastructure. So we work a lot with our customers in making sure that it's built into the design, whether it's through redundancy, whether it's through having the right software stack, whether it's also through having the right cybersecurity solutions to protect the overall infrastructure. So I think that's our answer is to really work closely with our customers. In addition, I'd like to add that, you know, artificial intelligence workloads are, uh, are, uh, are different to our historical workloads around traditional cloud services, right? And that means also the technology and the solutions we're providing have to be different as well. So, so we've got new products coming to the market. For example, our AI resilient uh, UPS called the GVXL, which is designed to work with the workloads associated with, uh, with artificial intelligence. There's a lot of complexity that, is, that goes into building AI infrastructure, which sometimes is not necessarily appreciated when you're using ChatGPT. And there is a lot of complex infrastructure that's actually powering, uh, powering these machines. Taking a historical purview, Schneider Electric's roots stem from France, and there's a philosophy of savoir faire, which means to do things gracefully and skillfully. But in the Gulf region, where everything is about scale, ambition, and speed, how do you see this philosophy tie-in? So as, as, a, as I said, energy is a, is a challenge, but skill set is as well a, a challenge nowadays within the data center industry. Schneider is a glo global com company and act locally. What does that mean for us? Acting locally, it's to localize all the expertise within the region to address the market. And as you said it rightly, the market is evolving and going very fast. So uh, we have implemented in Dubai for the region, but not only in Dubai, as well in the other country in the region. And we also have our innovation hub uh, here in Dubai, where we can have a, a very strong perspective of our end-to-end -end, uh, solution that we provide uh, uh, for the data center industry. Schneider has uh, trained uh, a million youth across the globe, so from a global perspective, but uh, part of them are from this region. And we make sure that there is a balance between all the region where we have presence at Schneider Electric. So let's look to the future. How do you think data centers will look in the year 2035? So it's a very good question, uh, but we don't see it this way. I mean, the future is already now. Uh, what we need to make sure is to make sure that we keep a flexibility uh, in, our, in our technology, so not to lock our customers with existing, uh, I would say, uh, uh, technology. So we need to make sure that this technology will be evolving. Schneider Electric is investing quite massively within R&D to make sure that we have this uh, normal evolution with the technology in the future with, uh, with the design. So this is one of the, of the topics that I can say around uh, how we see ourselves in the, in the future. I think we're still just scratching the surface around the potential of generative AI. Uh, whether it's in our personal lives or in business. So we'll see a, a rampant increase in the use cases of AI in our lives uh, as well, which will then require more and more uh, infrastructure to be built around the world. Uh, I also think that there will be more and more inference-based applications. So particularly in this part of the world, we should see more edge AI da data centers come up as well, closer to where the application is. So I think that will be another shift that we'll see. Today, the, the world is focusing on building big training clusters. And that's some of the big announcements we've seen, of course, in the Middle East region. But we'll see more application and inference uh, data centers come up in the future as well. Uh, and the second thing is I think the pace of technology changes is going to continue to accelerate. So we're all just going to have to keep up. So lastly, opening this question to the both of you, 
Given the speed at which AI and energy markets are moving, how do you personally stay ahead of the curve and continue to innovate in such a fast-paced environment? I mean, firstly, I'm super excited to be part of the data center industry because the pace of change that we're seeing now, we haven't seen in the past. Uh, and I'm coming more from the energy industry and the electrical world before, where the technology cycles were not necessarily as fast as we see here. So I think that's what's super exciting is that in my role where we're looking, Schneider is looking more at providing energy and automation solutions for physical infrastructure, but you've got to also keep learning a lot of what, what's happening on uh, the compute side, what's happening on, you know, how artificial intelligence is going to impact our business. So I think this constant learning mindset and understanding what's happening in the overall ecosystem uh, is, uh, is super exciting. So that's, that's uh, I do my best to try and keep up with all, all that's happening. So keep learning is uh, clearly the key uh, of the motivation, and this is what I'm trying as well to convey to my team to make sure that uh, they keep learn uh, into, this, uh, into this industry, which is absolutely exciting. Awesome. Thank you so much, Nirupa and Murad. And to our audiences, thank you for listening.